Hallelujah. Beloved, this is another day that the Almighty Jehovah, the creator of the universe, has given us a breath. So, beloved, let us pray. Heavenly Father, this is another day that you have given to your children around the whole world. We thank you for the breath that we are still breathing. You are the owner. You control life. So this morning, we appreciate you so much that we are still living. It is by your mercy. It is by your goodness. It is by your love. It is by your compassion that your children are still around. Unto thee, O oh Lord, with you, all things are possible. We thank you for giving us a breath. May your name be exalted. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. Beloved, he has given us a word. And the, the title of the message, that Christ will come again. Hallelujah. And without wasting time, let us go in the book of John and the verses 14. Let us hear what Christ is telling us this morning. Let us read. So, John 14, 1, 14, 1 to 4. Let us see it. Let not your heart be troubled. Yea, believe in God. Believe also in me. In my father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare. I go to prepare a place for you. Three. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And with it I go, you know, and the way, ye know. The way, we don't know. This is by our Lord Jesus Christ. He is telling us this morning, he is going to prepare a place for you and I. And he said in his father's, in his father's place, there are many mansions. And our God is from heaven. And he is telling us the truth that there are so many mansions in his father's house. So beloved, Whatever God say, it is true. So it is you and I. This is a question mark. Are we prepared to go where he is preparing for you and I? It is time so that we lead a clean life and run away from sin. Because where he is taking us, that place is holy and righteous. That place is for the holy people. That place is for the, the saints, those whose garments are pure and nothing, no spotless. So this morning, he is telling us, he is going to prepare a place so that he will come again. And it is true, our Lord Jesus Christ will come again. So beloved, it is a choice so that you go with Christ. Hallelujah. We continue. Our second reading is taken from Matthew 26. And let us hear the word of God. Oh, he's an all, he's a faithful master. Hallelujah. Matthew 26. And, and the verse is 64. Let's hear the word of God. Hallelujah. Jesus said unto him, Thou hast said, Nevertheless, I say unto you, Thereafter shall ye see the Son of Man seated on the right hand of the power and coming in the cloud of heaven. 
Beloved, he is coming again in the cloud. And that day, have you prepared yourself? Is your garment, is it pure? So that that day, when he appears, you will see him. Beloved, let us live a clean life. Let us, our life, be pure. Let us serve God in our hearts with a pure heart so that when the trumpet sound, oh, we will hear it. It is time so that we live a clean life. We have to run away from sin. All filthiness cannot be with us. We have to run away. We don't have to eat sin. We have to do the right thing so that when Christ appears, we can be with him. Beloved, he is telling us this morning. So have you prepared? Is your heart pure? Are you living a clean life? This is Christ asking you and I. It is a choice. Have you decided to go with him? Beloved, let us continue. We are reading from John 17. Let us hear the word of God. John 17 and the verse is 24. Oh, our God is so good. Our God is so unique. Let us hear his word. This is by our Lord Jesus Christ. He too, ye have asked nothing in my name, ask, and ye shall receive that the joy may be in full. Christ is asking us to ask. And what is by asking? The more we ask him, he will do it for you and I. He is a faithful God. So beloved, it is a choice to accept Christ as your personal savior. Without Christ, there is no way you can make it. Let us continue and hear the word of God in John 17 and the verse is 24 to 26. Father, I will that they also whom thy has given to me be with me where I am that they may Behold my glory, which thy has given me, and thy lovest me before the foundation of the, the world. O righteous Father, thy work, thy, thy word has not known them. O righteous Father, the world has not known thee, but I have known thee, and thee, and, and, and they, and those who have known me, that they may send me, and I have declared unto them thy name, and will thou declare it, that they love wherever thy have love me and may be with them and I in them. Christ is telling us this morning that whatever he knows his children. So beloved, are you part of God's children? Do you know him? Do you fellowship with him? Do you pray? Do you worship him? Do you praise him? So he is telling us those who love him, he, Christ, also love him. So, beloved, this is the day. If you have not accepted Christ as your personal savior, tomorrow will be too late. Beloved, if you are in a sin, 
you have to repent so that the mercy of God will have mercy upon you. So that Christ will have mercy. It is him alone that forgives sin. As he is coming, are you prepared? When the trumpet sound, will you hear his trumpet that is coming in the cloud? Beloved, today is a day of repentance. So beloved, let us do what Christ is telling us. In his father's house, there are so many mansions. Are you prepared to be with him? That is everlasting glory. That is everlasting joy. So beloved, let us see God in faith and in spirit and serve him because time is running out. We give him all his glory so that we will be with him forever and forever. Thank you our Lord Jesus Christ, for giving us a message. We have to make up our mindset and to love you so that we be with you. Unto thee, O Lord, with you, all things are possible. We give you all your glory. Master, Master, Master Jesus, it is only you that we need. May your name be exalted. Holy Spirit, may you bless your end time prophet and the family and also his viewers. Oh, may you bless them. What their heart desire, may you give it to them. In your mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen.